Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1985, long listed problem number 17, proposed by Cuba. Actually, this problem was not given on the actual competition, but it was proposed and long listed, which means that it was dismissed. But it was proposed, so let's solve it. We wish to find the following series, going from k equals 1 to plus infinity, k to the 6th power over 2 to the power of k. It's a rather sim simple and standard problem, but it's tedious, and I will leave some details to you, but basically, here are my hints. Let theta f of z be defined, it is a so-called theta operator, it's uh, the derivative of function f, evaluated at z, but multiplied by z. Notice that we have this well-known formula, that 1 over 1 minus x can be expressed as geometric series for x between minus 1 and 1, and you should take a look at theta operators, at first theta operator, then apply this operator once again, 6 times in total, for our function 1 over 1 minus x. And also remember that power series can be differentiated term by term, by term. So there is no problem there. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so what's the motivation uh, behind it? So net let f of x be equal 1 over 1 minus x for x between minus 1 and 1. Notice that then, then we have the following. f of x can be expressed as series from 0 to infinity of x to the power of k. And now let's take a look. What happens if, I'm, if I differentiate this series? I have derivative of x, I can differentiate term, term by term k, x to the power k minus 1. And notice that if I now multiply by x, then I can raise this power right here. Alright, and now if I take this and I, if I differentiate it once again, then I have series going from 0 to plus infinity, k squared x to the power k minus 1, and once again, if I multiply by x, I have x to the power of k here. You probably see what's happening. Uh, every time we can raise uh, this power of k by differentiating and by multiplying by x. And this is exactly this theta operator. So this can be written as theta f of x. This is second application of our theta operator and so on and so on. In the end, after six applications, sixth application of fate operator will give us series from 0 to infinity, k to the power of 6, x to the power of k. And now, notice that we just want to evaluate uh, this at one half. So all we want, we want to find We want to find theta evaluated at one half because that is exactly equal to series uh, k to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of k. And also notice that we can start summation at 1 because for k equals 0, we have 0 term. And now comes the ugly part. We have to actually differentiate it, multiply by x, differentiate it again, multiply by x again. Quite a bit of work, and I will leave the details, but basically we'll have the following. f of x equals this. Theta of x is... Maybe, let's write, let's write it in. Right? Theta is this another application of theta it's x squared plus x 
So basically what's happening, for example, I to get theta squared from theta, I, I differentiate this expression, yes, using uh, this quotient rule, and then I multiply it by x to get this result. I leave the details to you because differentiation is boring. Another application will get we'll get this and yet another application will, will yield this fifth application will yield Mm, this nice expression again lots and lots of details are behind the scenes and one last time one last time theta six application of this theta operator will give us one minus x to the power of seven x to the 6th power plus 57 x to the 5th power plus 302 x to the 4th power 302 x to the 3rd power 57 x squared plus x all right and now that means that sixth application of fate operator at one half you just need to plug one to plug one half everywhere. Again, it's a bit of work. It can be done in a finite amount of time, fortunately. And you will get 9366. And this is exactly the value of our series. Our series uh, k to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of k, it converges to 9000. 366 and that closes our problem again there are other ways to do it there is i will not get into details but you can uh, read about so-called sterling number numbers of a second kind and basically sterling numbers allow us to write k to the sixth power in terms of uh, calling Powers. For example, it can be verified that k to the sixth power can be written as 6, 6, k to the sixth falling, plus 6, 5, k to the fifth power, plus 6, 6, 4, k to the fourth power, 6, 3, k to the third falling power, 6, 2, k to the second falling power, 6, 1, k to the first power, and 6, 0, times 1. And it has some advantage, because uh, if you don't know this, for example, k to the sixth falling is k, k minus 1, k minus 2, k minus 3, k minus 4, k minus 5, for example. And so on. These numbers, there is a nice recursion for stealing numbers of a second kind. Uh, for example, you can read about it in Concrete Mathematics textbook. It has a brilliant chapter on these numbers. And uh, this has some advantage because, uh, for example, I will give you just a hint. If we have this series, well, after differentiation, we get, as we know, k from 0 to infinity, k, x to the k minus 1. And without multiplying by x, we can find the second derivative, which is k, k minus 1, x to the power k minus 2, and so on. Without multiplying by x, by just computing derivatives, we'll get our falling uh, falling powers of k here and these derivatives of our function can be computed very easily 
and then using this formula it can be combined all together to get alternative proof of this result which I got here. So it's an advantage because well computing derivatives is easier than computing uh, fate operators but on the other hand you have to compute these Stirling numbers or you have to look them up somewhere. So it's balancing together. Uh, I recommend that you read concrete mathematics textbook. You will get details here in the sixth chapter. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.